All right, who's here on Tamar McIntyre? Are y'all ready? I'm right in the middle. All right, why isn't he dressed for trial? <laughs> See, I'm testing people, testing memories. <laughs> All right, so uh, when is this set for trial? Uh, I believe Your Honor wanted us to come here today to yes. discuss that. John um, confer. We've we've conferred. It looks like that we would suggest that the week of October fourteenth. Um, that would October. Yes, Your Honor. We that's uh, that's far far away. It is far. Why, away. why are we doing it far far away? Well, a couple of uh, reasons, Your Honor. I I think that. It was indicated to me that the court may have several other trials that are of older vintage that have to be tried in between now and then. Um, it also, I think, <coughs> pardon me, from our perspective, we believe that the state has fully complied with Article 3914. We have run into somewhat of a logistical concern where the production in this case was originally delivered to us when the matter was still set in juvenile court. It was mm -hmm. delivered on hard drives. Mm -hmm. So we had reviewed that long before. This was even reassigned to the 187. Now that it's in adult court and in the 187, we are receiving e-discovery notices uh, pretty much every week, sometimes several times a week, in which we have to go back through and now count coup and make sure that the documents are the same. In addition to reviewing a large uh, amount of correspondence and mail from the jail, Mr. McIntyre has sent or received. Uh, and that's a very time consuming process. My office has had to hire a new staff member just to do that. And they're doing that three or four days a week, every week. Um, and so those are some concerns we have just to make sure that we haven't missed something, that there hasn't been some slip between the cup and the lip. I appreciate that the state is doing this out of an abundance of caution, but it is, it's a time consuming matter. So we looking at those things thought that October would be a date that gives everybody plenty of time, decreases the chances we'd have to ask for any kind of a postponement at a later date. Okay, there's not if, if I give this October date, there's not going to be postponements. That, that unless there's something super unusual. That would be our hope as well. That the idea is that this would be a date that especially set. We all know it's going and that they're going all right, show what up date ready is to go. this? What's that what date? The 14th of October. 14th or 15th, 15th is a Tuesday, Your Honor. All right, Norma. On this case. Uh, then we'll probably need to do jury selection on the 11th. On the 11th. And Norma, you need to call and reserve the central jury room for the 11th, because do we need many jurors? I would think given the nature of the case and the publicity around it, we would need a larger panel than usual. All right. So go ahead and schedule it for October 11th. So we'll do jury selection on October 11th. And will you all be ready for testimony in the afternoon on the 14th? I believe so, Your Honor. All right. So uh, jury trial, jury selection, then October 11th. In the central jury room. And then testimony uh, begins. October 14th at 1.30 p.m. And so the only thing that will happen in the central jury room will be selection. And then after that, you start with your openings. All right, Thank is you, there Mitch. anything else? Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, yes. Uh, Joanne DeLoyos has state jail felonies that are, were, um, were carried for settings for state jail felonies, but my understanding is that the this case takes precedent in doing this case first. I'm just uh, here preparing for Joanne Dolores. All right, so here's my question with, re with regards to those cases. So you have discovery on those other cases as well? No, he's not on those cases. Correct. We're, well, we're... I mean, are those other cases gonna come up some kind of way? Because if they are, then you'll need discovery on those potentially. Well, we, we I believe have requested notice of any extraneous acts that the state would intend to use. I haven't been notified of any intention to use them. I believe all of these are things that arose after Mr. McIntyre's custody in the Bear County Jail, if I'm not mistaken. So, all right, so all... state, if you'll make sure that they have that. Well, I can give them access to it, Your Honor. All right, so you'll have access to that. 
And then, um, Mr. Stateson, if you want to confer with this council with regards to those other cases and what you may or may not have, and uh, Judge. I'll have you all back here on October 14th as well. And who knows, something may happen with those cases at that time. Yes, Judge. All right, is there anything else from either side? Not at this time, Your Honor. All right, they'll bring you over dressed for trial on that day. You'll be brought over dressed for trial in whatever civilian clothing you have at the jail. If you wish to be in, attired in something else, You'll need to do a clothing exchange with your attorney. If there's an issue with that, let the court know. Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else from either side? Nothing. All right. Thank you. Take care. You too.